The downward spiral at Rutgers continues. Now an incoming transfer from Minnesota has been charged in the beating of a man that left him critically injured. The charges against quarterback Philip Nelson, the latest problem for Rutgers. Ray Crawford here with associate editor Rich Sermonillo. And Rich, the list keeps getting longer. Mike Rice, A.D. Julie Herman, Eric Legrand, and the whole graduation speech debacle. Give us the outlook, though, for the football program as they get set to debut in the Big Ten. Yeah, just real quickly, Ray, regarding Phil Nelson, I, I mean, this isn't Rutgers' fault, but it's just another black eye for this, uh, for this university. I mean, they can't seem to get out of their way. It's been another PR disaster. In, in terms of football, I don't think it's going to get better. I mean, Kyle Flood's team struggled last year, six and seven, six losses by double digits, and that's when they were in the American. Now, heading to the Big Ten, the schedule is going to be brutal this year. At least in the short term, Ray, I, I, I think Rutgers is headed toward being, you know, the Big Ten's next Indiana. So what can be done to save this program and raise the school's image again? I know this might seem like a blast from the past, but the only way Rutgers is going to compete in the Big Ten long term is if they go out and get Greg Schiano for 2015. He was the galvanizing force. He was the guy that was able to recruit down in Florida as well as in the Northeast. If you want to compete in the Big Ten, you've got to start chopping wood, and that means getting Greg Schiano and even being open to bringing back Tim Pernetti, the, the athletic director who did a fantastic job prior to that Mike Rice debacle. It's a great scenario. I know I think a lot of Rutgers fans might agree with you there, but what's the likelihood, Rich, that that could actually happen and become reality? Well, yeah, I, I think I think Pernetti is is a long shot. I, I, I think Greg Schiano is not. We all know that Greg is is no longer employed. He was fired by the Buccaneers. So he's looking to get back into coaching. He's only 47 years old, so he's still in his coaching prime. And the other thing to keep in mind, Ray, this isn't Rich Rodriguez leaving West Virginia. This is, you know, there wasn't bad blood between Rutgers and Shiano. There was a love affair between the university and the coach, the coach and the community. He's from New Jersey, uh, coached at Penn State. Uh, so he knows that Big Ten terrain. He went to Bucknell. He is from this region of the country. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. I would say it's better than 50-50 that if Rutgers is as bad as I think they will be in 2014, that Shiano could be the coach next year. Interesting. We've seen it happen with Bobby Petrino, even going back to John Robinson at USC. It certainly has happened before. Rich, thanks very much. Thanks, Ray. For the latest in the world of college football, keep it here to CampusInsiders.com.